crazy. This is like a really uber professional interview. We've got cameras. We've got two cameras now. It's flip to flip. Flip to flip. Nick, show the other flip. It's flip to flip. That's what's <laughs> up. That's legit. I'm joined by comedian Mario Joyner. Now, website, MarioJoyner.com. MarioJoyner.com, right, yes. Checking that out. Uh, very funny comedian. Welcome to the Ashley After Show, by the way. Happy Friday. Happy to have you on. Thanks. Nice to be here. You know, you're quite the gentleman, yet hilarious. That's always a nice combination. Is that odd to you? That I'm gentleman and funny? It's not easy to find, right? L right, ladies? Not since the right. Middle Ages. <laughs> it really isn't. Um, I mean, literally, I can't even tell you the last time I actually went on a date and had a guy open his door for me and pay for me and be a gentleman and then actually have a personality. It's hard to find. Did I just vent a little bit there? You did. I, 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 I had to get out. it out. I had to get it out. Are you married? Are you? I'm not married. I'm as single as they come. You are. 50 years old, single. No. No kids. And not and so no 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 baggage. Normally a 51 year old. Well, I didn't say that. Oh, that's <laughs> true. I didn't say that. I said I'm not married. Right. I have no kids, but there's plenty of baggage. Are you are a divorcee? No. Okay. Never See. Been. Okay. So let me talk to you because I'm 29. I'm single. I'm I'm not divorced. I have no kids either. I see myself being 51 and being in your shoes. Do people go, what's wrong with you? All Why? the time. Yeah. All what's your time. answer? There's nothing wrong with me. People ask me, why aren't you married? My yeah. stock answer is, I'm just trying to stay happy, I guess. <laughs> I've seen the face of happily married people. I, I don't believe it. They aren't very happy. That's <laughs> I what I think, too. When they say happily married, I will grant them they are married. But happy, you have to prove that to me. But if you're married, enjoy that. You know, it's fine. Sure. Most women want to get married, I guess. If I was a woman, I'd be married. Because really? basically, yeah, yeah. If I was want to be married, why would you want to be married? I'd be woman? married by the time I was eighteen. Why? Divorced by the time I was twenty. Why? Married again by the time I was twenty-two. Because <laughs> being a woman, you're married, you have a husband. And let's face it, a husband is a great thing to have. I wish I could have a husband. I wish I could, you know, but I can't because of the whole heterosexual thing. Mm -hmm. But if I was a woman, I'd be married because having a husband is having somebody bigger than you that you can boss around. And who doesn't want that? You know. Yeah, I've never. I. I, I mm. That's why women like horses. They're so big and they can push them around. Yeah. yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I think I'm like the one woman in this world that doesn't think she's ever going to get married. Perhaps. Really? Mm -hmm. You're not giving up already. You're not even 30, right? I think I'm already giving up. Really? Now I'm 29. But you don't really want to be married if you're giving up it before you're 30. I don't think I want to be married. That's when it really starts to kick into gear, you know? I, I, and for me, it's kicking into opposite gear. It's like, run, run. It's like the last thing that I want to do is get married and have kids. Mm. Well. Because it, because of what you said, because... Most of the people that I see, because everyone in my life is married and has kids, the majority are miserable. They're miserable. It's and they're so always trying to tell you to not, get married, too, right? Yeah, and then they're, like, trying to tell me it's great, but I see that they're miserable, and it's like, it's not that great. I have a friend of mine who will be arguing with his wife, calling her all sorts of names, and they'll turn around to me and go, so when are you going to do this, man? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds great. And I'm like, that? Eh, never. Maybe so do never. you date? Do you get out there? Do of you course have, I date. How do you have time to date when you're traveling? Do you travel a lot, obviously? Well, see, here's what happens. Yeah. In these cities that I go to, there are beautiful women who, not all the time, but a lot of times, are actually looking to meet new men. Oh. So when I come there, I represent that new man. That Even if does. just for that weekend or just for that week or so. Yeah. Plus there's Skype and there's, you know, Facebook. You can really stay in touch with people. Yeah. Nowadays. So when people say you travel, how do you date? I do it while I'm traveling. <laughs> I date on the fly. Yeah. Date on the fly. That's Face a good time. website. Yeah. Date, date on the fly. <laughs> <laughs> so you're performing this weekend. Get, give, oh, tell, I'm performing tell, at the yeah. uh, Madhouse Comedy Club. It's always uh, nice this time. Two shows, Friday and Saturday, uh, 7.30 and 9.45. Perfect. 9.45. Don't get it twisted. 9.45. Yeah, that is kind of You would think 7.30 or maybe 9.30. You but I guess you got to have a few, you know, t a little time. They need the extra 15 minutes to properly turn over the room. Yeah. Properly. Yeah. What do you do if you're on stage and you just draw a blank? Or does that just not happen anymore because you've been doing it for so long? What do you do if you're on stage and you draw a blank? Well, it better be a funny blank, <laughs> number one. If you, if you blank out and not say anything, you should be, I don't know, silently funny. But, yeah, I, I, it doesn't happen. Doesn't people, happen. people say that if you, if you have some sort of... Uh, a, a drinking problem, maybe, maybe that happens. <laughs> That's like asking you if you're on stage and, and, and you piss your pants. It's the same. Yeah. <laughs> it just doesn't happen. Yeah. Do you ever drink on stage or? I, well, I'm not a real drinker. I don't oh, drink. you don't really drink. Okay. When I say I'm not a real drinker, I mean I'll, I'll have wine with with a meal, sure. like a civilized person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, a, I'm not a big drinker. Yeah, yeah, that's real cool. I also think it's really cool that you know Chris Rock and Jerry Seinfeld personally. That's well, somebody's got to know him personally. Yeah, so that's really, yeah. really cool. Who some would, of them has, somebody has to know him. Who would you say is cooler of the two? 
Um, they're equally cool. Damn it! Damn they're it! Equally cool. I was gonna try to get some juice. I, uh, and then we were gonna uh, sell it to TMZ. I've known all of them. I've known both of those guys for all of my comedy career. Just about. I so. mean, two of the most talented comedians. That's that's got to be in. Well, it's got to be inspirational. They probably teach you a lot, but you probably teach them a lot too. I would assume, huh? Yes, yes, yeah, I do. Sure. That's that's my that's my thing. I'm a teacher, the teacher of comedy. Yeah, there you go. I know Jerry's richer. I think still. Damn it. I think he's still richer. He, you said, damn it, you'd like Chris Rock to be richer? No, why don't? No, I say, why don't you ask Jerry to like hook you up with a mill? With a mill? I don't know. As in a million dollars? I don't know. Well, you are a pretty woman. You think you can just ask for... <laughs> <laughs> this is woman thinking. She, this is pretty woman thinking. I just asked for a million dollars. He has a few of them. <laughs> Why not give me one? It's not like a scarf or something. <laughs> or, 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 or a flip camera. Flip to the flip. Flip, flip. Well, cool. These are valid points. You know? Well, tell Chris Rock and Jerry I said what up. Okay. You know? I it's a funny. pleasure having you on. Likewise. Pleasure being here. It's cool. always nice to have a gentleman... Who's actually got a personality. That's just always fun. You just can't go wrong with that. Go see him at the Madhouse Comedy Club. Why do I always mess... I always somehow mess that up. Uh, this weekend, 7.30. Well, it's a weird name. Madhouse, you know. I always will go Madhouse Comedy Store. Or Madhouse Comedy Place. Or Mad... I don't know why. Madhouse Comedy Club. Cool. Thank you, Mario. Thank you. Have a great weekend. We'll see you Monday.